24 hours being that girl. Well, kind of. Being that girl is really just being the best version of you. So I guess in a way we're all already that girl. But today I wanted to share with you my idea of a good day. How I spend the day when I need to reset, get back on track, feel productive, creative, healthy, happy. Feel like the best version of me. day today it's so sunny there's honestly not a single cloud in the sky and it just makes the biggest difference doesn't it like the biggest difference to your mood we are in the car and we're about to go and do well put simply we're about to go for a walk with Rue but slightly different today so you guys are gonna think that we have gone completely insane but we have begun to consider the possibility of moving again i know we literally just moved into our house we're in the extremely early stages of this guys we've just begun having discussions and having a look at what we can get we are exploring the idea of possibly buying somewhere probably more south manchester i guess the main main motivating factor is that we'd love to get a garden for rue it would make rue's life happier and not having to go up and down every time she needs the toilet so anyway we're in the very early stages of that i wanted to do it this morning because i feel like it's a really good way to set me up for the day it really puts things into perspective shows me what i'm working towards gets me excited about the future about potentially living around there having a garden i can't explain what a dream it would be just to have a garden for rue so i guess it's kind of manifesting in a way which you guys know i believe in it's really sunny and i'm just i don't know i'm excited about life today guys i'm in a good mood it's definitely the sun um but yeah so i'll see you guys when we get there It's so beautiful around here, it's just so many houses, it's so much in today. There's just something about tree-lined streets. The houses are so beautiful along here. So I think what we're gonna do is walk into town and then stop and get some lunch and some smoothies. I really like the smoothie. The smoothie I had this morning actually, not smoothie, more like the juice, actually is from this place. Can we just talk about this coat? I am so obsessed with this coat. My mum has it and my sister has it. My sister has it in black. My mum has it in like chocolate brown, which is very me. And then I got it in this kind of like, I guess it's kind of a greeny color, but it does all the way up. So it tucks your neck in and I'm just obsessed with it. It's from Uniqlo. It's also the softest thing in the whole world and so lightweight, just in love with it. We are home and this sunny weather has really inspired me to make a salad for the first time this year. I'm not the biggest salad girl in the whole world. Also, when I say a salad, always something in it is warm. So what I'm gonna do is roast some broccoli, roast some chickpeas, 
put some spinach in there, put some watercress, I'm just looking at what I've got, put some watercress in there, some sprouts on top, and actually, I think, in the cupboard down there, I've got some walnut pieces and some organic pumpkin seeds. So I'll throw them in at the end and just like very lightly roast them. Some tomatoes. I'm just gonna throw a whole load of stuff basically into a bowl and see what happens. If any of you have been here since we lived in our old place, last summer I used to make this kale salad the whole time. And that was so good actually come to think of it. So I feel like this is some variation on that. Let me show you what we've got going on. I just covered the broccoli with some olive oil and garlic flakes, and then I'm gonna pop that in the oven first. And then in here, I've got some leftover chickpeas. It's about half a tin, which is perfect. Watercress, some spinach. I'll pop some of these on top as always. Um, we've got fresh tomatoes. If I wanted to double up, I do have all these beans as well. <laughs> threw the spinach in right near the end and then I've just tipped it all out into a bowl. It took about 15 minutes I'd say and now I'm just going to throw on top the watercress, these sprouts and some tomatoes and we're done. So it's all done. It's basically just a huge bowl of healthy green goodness. I promise you it's not just healthy, it actually tastes good. <laughs> I would take like an hour for myself just to do a couple of things that I've been trying to do more of recently. The first thing is that I've kind of set myself a goal, I guess. I write it in my habit tracker to try and learn for 30 minutes a day every day. And I've purposely made that really quite vague because it could be anything from reading a non-fiction book for half an hour. But what I'm currently trying to get better at is money management. So I'm currently attempting to educate myself on investing in lots of different ways um and yeah that's all i'm gonna say because i'm really not about to sit here and talk to you about investing like we have got a beginner here can't recommend enough like if you have an hour spare try to use it mindfully rather than just sit on your phone go through tiktok or whatever it makes such a difference i mean by all means if you've got an hour free and you think i want to spend this whole hour on tiktok that's totally fine by me but it's just being mindful of that because I don't know, we, I feel like we can all get guilty of thinking, I'm just gonna watch 10 minutes of this and then an hour later you've watched like two episodes of something or I'm just gonna check TikTok and then it's been 40 minutes and all you've done is scroll. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to be more mindful with my free time or my downtime just to, you know, get the most out of life. And believe me, if you think I don't spend far too long watching TV, far too long on my phone, I definitely do, but I'm just trying to, you know, Small changes, small positive things in the right direction. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna get into now. So I'm literally just heading into town now to get these sorted out. I need to do a load of returns. I've got a huge bag of returns because I feel like I wanna get all the stuff out of the way for this afternoon. When we get there, I will show you what I'm getting done to my nails. I'm not gonna do anything that dramatic. But I wanna change the shape and the color and get some length off because they're just, absolutely awful they're like claws at the moment i'm going to somewhere new today just because like i said my nail lady is not around at the moment so she has recommended a place in manchester inside harvey nichols called create and coat i think it's a gel bottle salon um, and that's who we always use so i'll show you my um inspo pick actually so i'm thinking something like this it's a bit shorter classy color i can't get bored of Am I the only person that didn't know that there's free people? Oh, I love this. 
in um, Harvey Nichols in Manchester. It might be in all of them. Also, this is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. How cute. These colors are very spring, summer. I think this print is so cool. I really like it in the green, but I'm so bad for buying colorful stuff and then never wearing it. Finished doing all of my returns and now I'm about to finally go get my nails done. I am obsessed with them. They're so cute, aren't they? She did an amazing job. I saw a girl called Tia in Creating Coat. If anyone is from Manchester, they are literally perfect. It's Pilates time. It's about 8.30 now, because that was a 7.30 class, so I'm really hoping that maybe, fingers crossed, Kenny started, um, I'm sorry, most noisy people, um, that Kenny has started some dinner. This is actually my recipe. So, if any of you have seen any of my old videos, you'll know what this is, but this is kimchi pasta in the making. This is like the sauce cooking down now. If you are wondering about the recipe, I have the full recipe and the method and everything else in a really old video of mine, but literally nothing's changed at all. So I will link that for you down below. We recently found this cheese, particularly this red Leicester style one. It's so good. It's one of the best vegan cheeses I've found. It's the one we're gonna use tonight in the kimchi pasta. I don't know if it's not, probably not the most appealing looking thing in the world, but it tastes so good. It's got this really nice, like sticky texture. It's just so good, honestly. Try the recipe, guys. Hello, I am back in the bathroom in another really weird position because I'm about to get ready for bed, but I wanted to show you two things I'm loving at the moment. I've actually spoken about both of these before, but just in case, just in case you missed that memo, I'm gonna tell you again. So, one sec. The first thing which I, my sister introduced me to at Christmas, I think she gave them to me at Christmas and I don't know what I was doing or where I was before these face halos. Honestly, if you guys have not tried these for removing your makeup, it is the easiest, like most efficient, simple way. They're reusable, there's no waste, there's no harsh chemicals, nothing like that. Um, and they're just a bit of me and they actually work because I think before my sister told me they worked I've seen them and I've thought like they'd be the same as you know when you just use a flannel or like a face towel not with these I don't understand what they do or how they do it because they look so simple but they really do give your face a good clean and then you can always go over it with a face towel after or like your cleanser or I don't know whatever makes you happy but for me especially on those lazy nights these are a genuine game changer and then the second thing is the moisturizer which I've showed you before but this is the moisturizer I use at night time let me just pick you up it's the drunk elephant whipped cream it's like a really rich moisturizing cream so i prefer to use it at night time and then i use my skin food in the day but yeah i absolutely love it and look how cool this is to actually get the product out you basically i'm not going to do it now because i need to take my makeup off first but you push this down and the product comes out of there it's so cool. So yeah, I've been really loving that. I used to use it a couple of years ago and then got back into it because they very kindly sent me a huge, look at this actually. This is all Drunk Elephant up here that I need to try. That's pretty much me done for the day. I've had such a lovely day. I hope you guys can see now that like, I don't know, it's this whole that girl thing for me is not about being anything different or changing myself or anything like that. It's just about doing stuff that makes you feel good, I guess, and having your idea of the best day or being your idea of the best version of you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.